Yeah, well, I've been playing this guitar for about a month now. And, um, you know, the first thing, when it, it was shipped to me and I took it out of the box, tuned it up and it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect. I've never experienced a guitar where you get it and it's perfect, you know, everything needs to be set up. And, you know, if I'm doing a different style of playing, it's gotta be set up perfectly for that. And this guitar has been absolutely perfect. And that's a word I don't like to throw around, um, but it's been truly wonderful. And I live in Florida and I do a lot of, you know, outside gigs. I, you know, have a lot of acoustic instruments and with the humidity where I live, it's, it's always difficult. Um, and actually the, well, the first week I got this guitar, I had a gig and it was a terribly humid and rainy day in Florida. And I was planning on taking another acoustic, but then I had this beautiful angel brought into my life. And um, I decided, well, I'll take this. And, you know, and it was, it's absolutely perfect. It's, I don't have to worry about it warping. I don't have to worry about anything. And it's, it's truly, it's angelic when you play it. It's, it's so smooth. It is, um, truly a wonderfully crafted instrument. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. Like it is, it's, it's brilliant. I've played several, several acoustic guitars, owned several acoustic guitars. Um, and there's, it's hard to balance between having a guitar that's so like factory made that it's almost feels like you're cheating. And then having a guitar that kind of still feels like a tree and you got to work it and fight it. Um, and this guitar has been like a, a perfect balance. Um, it's absolutely, it's designed brilliantly and it plays so smoothly and, um, you know, you feel great playing it. It just feels amazing, um, but it's it still feels real. You know, like the music that's inside of me, I need it to come out. I want it to be as authentic as possible. And this instrument has been doing it for me. I, I love it. Um, I'd like to play this the rest of my life <laughs> and probably only play this the rest of my life. It's, it's incredible. I'm very, very beyond grateful to have any experience playing this instrument. I I think it should be taken seriously, I really do. And I understand, you know, I I grew up and I, I started learning on like a Walmart or like Toys R Us guitar, you know? And you have to do that at some point. And, you know, and then I graduated to like the Epiphone Les Paul or the Mexican Tele. Um, but you know, when, when you're playing in professional situations and you wanna be on a professional level, you, you just have to have that gear. Um, you know, there comes a point where you, you can't play the cheap stuff anymore. And you can still play, but you really need the, the right gear to take you to that next level. Um, and I know a lot of people probably have different views on that, but um, I tell you, I have a custom shop Telecaster and that will be the only Telecaster I ever play. And you know, once you taste something so amazing like that, you really don't want to go back. And I tell you, I just took a tour of the McPherson factory. And once you look at those guitars, you don't want to play any other acoustic guitar the rest of your life. Um, because it's, it's that, that perfect standard. Um, and once you experience that, it's, it's hard to go back. But if you want to do anything in music at a professional level, I know it can be expensive, but if you want to do that and that's your life, then do it, you know, make it happen. You know, I, I bought a Gibson Les Paul when I was 16 years old and I paid for that guitar by teaching lessons. I was in high school, but you know, if you really want to make it happen, you'll make it happen. And after playing the carbon fiber, it's like, this is the guitar I want, you know? Mm -hmm. 